Good morning everyone. I hope everyone is doing okay today. Now, yesterday I said that the plan was to go out for a run this morning and to uh, head into Bromley to run some errands. Unfortunately, that is no longer the case. Why? Well, because I have to go into uni. Why do you have to go into uni? I hear you ask. I thought you had finished. You continue. Well, yes, I, I have. But I need to meet with my, uh, my theatre technician because I am doing a job for him on the 6th of June and today we're going to have a meeting so that I can work out also that we can work out, you know, what I'm going to be doing and all of that sort of stuff, basically. So, that's why we have to go into uni, and that is why I can't go and do some stuff in Bromley and go for a run. Still might be able to, still might have time to do it. Um, it just depends how long this meeting is going to take. And if I'm honest, I, I can't see it taking longer than an hour, hour and a half maybe. So, all going well, I should be home by half past two. That's the theory. And we'll, we'll work it out from there. I think maybe, maybe half two, I should probably just and get to making videos or something. Well, I don't know. We'll have a, we'll play it by ear. We'll see how it goes. But that's the plan anyway. So, if you haven't gone and liked Josh on Facebook at Paradox Arts, make sure that you do. All right, he he has been very kind and is making uh, a lot of my thumbnails for me. He made all of the thumbnails for the Lost Vikings, and there is a project hopefully coming up and he has just sent me the prototype for one of the thumbnails and <laughs> it's outrageously amazing it's so fantastic and i wish i could show you it without getting giving you any spoilers as to what it will be but uh, <laughs> it is phenomenal i love it if it's slightly weird but he does such an amazing job, so go and like him on Facebook. Paradox Arts, link in the description, go there, because he is just so amazingly talented at this, and it's incredible. I'm now going to see if I can kind of show it off without giving away too many spoilers. Let's see how this happens. <laughs> that probably didn't give you that much information, but... <laughs> it's amazing. When I get round to uploading this project though, I will obviously upload the thumbnail to the Facebook page that I have, uh, as I have done with the Lost Vikings. So you can go and check that out at facebook.com slash techproductions or whatever it is. Link in the description also. Check them out now, because they're amazing. So, for old times sake, let's go to uni! Oh, I'm not going to get to do that very often anymore. So here's some pretty darn good stuff, right? I left my house here at quarter to ten, okay? 9.45 I left my house and I got home around about 12.45. So, really, it didn't take that long at all. Train was at ten, got there at half ten, met them at eleven, wrapped up by ten to twelve, home again, job done. So uh, that was all pretty pretty darn cool and now I need to remember everything that I was told. So what I might do is I might just say everything here and that way I'll just watch this video before I have to go off uh, and do the thing next week. So what I'm going to be doing is there is basically a party going on at uni and they're going to have live bands and I have been asked if I will um, do all the sound engineering. So sitting there at the mixing desk, making sure everything can be heard, making sure it's all at the right levels, making sure there's no feedback, all that sort of stuff. And I've just got to remember how to do it all. It's fairly straightforward. 
it, it'll be fine. So uh, there are faders on the mixing desk, you know what those are Nick. Um, if you, the faders basically will control the volume that the audience can hear and then there is also the auxiliary dials which are just above the faders. If you turn those then that will affect the audio coming out of the foldback speakers, you know, those are the monitor ones, the ones on the floor there at the front and behind the drummer. Uh, those ones you want to turn up so that the uh, so that the guys can hear themselves, but the audience don't necessarily need to hear that. Um, make sure that the mics don't come in front of the speakers, otherwise that's how you get feedback, because something goes into the mic, comes out the speakers, which goes into the mic, which comes out the speakers, which goes into the mic, which comes out the speakers, getting louder and louder and louder, so don't do that. Um, what else was there? Oh, yeah, make sure you plug the auxiliary stuff in, otherwise the auxiliary dials won't work. You have the gain at the top, so that's the level it's going to be coming in at. So you want to set that before you fiddle about with levels on the faders, so make sure that you solo the faders, or PFL it might say on there, so make sure you press that button first and then you get the right level by doing the gain, make sure the little green lights, make sure that, that goes up to green and maybe into yellow but not into red. And yeah, so fiddle about with that until it's good, then you can turn the fader on, then play about with the fader level until it does the light thing, that's what you want. Make sure the masters are up, uh, but don't touch them throughout the show unless there's a really packed audience, in which case just turn it up a little bit because they'll absorb some of the noise. And uh, I think that's pretty much it, make sure all the pan dials are set dead centre, otherwise you'll have a skew audio and it'll be all over the place. But you probably know all that anyway, so that's all fine. I am going to wrap this up here for today. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next vlog. Had a pretty productive day today, I think, all in all. You know, we had that meeting, which was pretty great. Um, there's a bit of hair poking up right on the back there. Yeah, we had that meeting and I got quite a bit of uh, tax stuff done as well. I got videos made for the channel and stuff. So on the whole, it's been a pretty, pretty productive day, even if it feels like I haven't done a whole lot. Or maybe I'm just trying to justify some sort of laziness. Who knows? It could be anything. Um, but yes, started making the new project as well. The uh, thumbnail that I might have given you a sneaky peek of that um, started filming that project. <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, I will see you tomorrow for another vlog. Alright, tomorrow there is no plan, I believe. Let me check my calendar. I genuinely don't think I have anything to do tomorrow, so if that's the case, I think tomorrow will be the day where we go and run errands in Bromley. Let's see, 30th. No, no plans tomorrow. Yes! Okay, so we're going to go to Bromley and I'm going to do some stuff. Hopefully, if I can be bothered. Also, I might do that run that I was talking about, going out for a quick run. We'll see. But uh, that's what's going on for tomorrow. So I will see you then. Bye! I genuinely might think I... Genuinely, there. There. I think I might be ADD sometimes or something. It's just hyperactivity. But it comes from nowhere. I don't have, well, caffeine maybe, but I've only had two cups of tea today. If I get hyper off two cups of tea, Jesus Christ, I have no hope for my adult life when I start liking coffee.